friends, welcome to the channel. We're Wet and Rika, and today we're gonna be talking about all of our tips and tricks for traveling around the Dominican Republic. Let's do it. So if you're just new here, we spent two weeks traveling around the entire country road tripping. It was a great time and we actually learned a lot. So we're hoping to share it with you and hopefully help your travels be better. So without further ado, let's get going. Uh, number one is everyone speaks Spanish and some people speak English. You could probably get by traveling around the country just knowing English and using like body language and hand movements, but I definitely recommend learning a little bit of Spanish for those instances when it can be really helpful. That's like numbers, hello, thank you, uh, where is the, and then you say something. Uh, if you want like an insider tip, que lo que means what's up. And usually like in every other Spanish speaking country, they say que tal. And only in the Dominican, they say que lo que. So if you say that, it's super casual, it's super colloquial. And the locals will, will really appreciate it. Also, just a quick side note, it really depends on where you are. Some places are going to want to speak Spanish more than others. For example, if you're in Punta Cana, where there's a lot of resorts, you're more likely to be able to get away with just speaking English. But if you're in other places like Constanza, which is in the middle of the mountains, we would probably recommend learning a little bit of Spanish. Yeah, just a little bit. It literally will take you two hours. You can do it on the plane, just Duolingo or something. And speaking of apps, our second tip is a list of apps that are commonly used in the country. The first one for ordering food to be delivered to your home or wherever you're staying is Pedidos Ya. We thought Uber Eats would work in the country. It really didn't. When we tried it, it might, like since we were there, but Pedidos Ya seemed to be like the overarching universal uh, food ordering app. So the second app is Uber. We use that a lot to get around the different cities instead of taxis. There are taxis, but you kind of have to haggle for prices and since we're tourists it's kind of bound to be upcharged mm -hmm. so we decided to get uber to not have to worry about any of that also quick note about uber if you're using it you're gonna have to use cash and not use your credit card because they will not pick you up mm -hmm. unless you use cash yeah, and you can change that in your settings, like your payment settings, you can select your card, and then I think at the bottom, you select like cash. Uh, the reason you do that is because a lot of drivers won't pick you up if you charge with card, because I think there are associated fees they have to pay or something. Another tip is public transit. They do have a public transit system around the Dominican Republic. They call them guagua buses. Mm -hmm. And we took a few to get between Santo Domingo and Punta Cana and really enjoyed them. They were really nice. A few disclaimers we have though, going back to Spanish, I think that's the type of transportation that you're most gonna need Spanish. It's, you don't really need to say much, you just say like, cuanto cuesta, which is how much does it cost, give them the money, I think that's pretty much it. And then you might wanna say like, where are you going in the city, but that doesn't require Spanish really. Another one is that finding the routes and times for the bus schedule can take a bit of research. So you just have to like spend some time online doing that. And then lastly, they can be super stressful. Just people are like taking your luggage. And one time we were getting out of the Uber and like a bunch of people at the Guagua bus were like, come on, it's leaving. <laughs> so we had to run and pull our luggage underneath. It was stressful, but you get there and it's cheap. Another tip is if you're interested in seeing a lot of the country in a little bit of time, then we recommend renting a car. It's not too expensive to get gas, and we were able to see like the entire country of the Dominican Republic basically in one week. Okay, disclaimers for that. The traffic can be really bad, especially in Santo Domingo, the capital. Outside in the countryside, it was fine. It was totally fine. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of speed bumps. This ditch, it's like a straight up goalie. That was my only complaint, so you just kind of mm. have to slow down. But I mean, it keeps the speed down, keeps people safe, so no complaints there. Disclaimer number two, bad roads. You can check out our whole video talking about our experience trusting Google Maps to take us on reliable roads. We were in a tiny Chevy Spark and we got lost in the woods on the way to Constanza. There were a lot of tears shed. We had to cross a river. It was, it was stressful. You can check out our video like up in one of the corners. Yeah, don't trust Google Maps. It's going to take you some crazy ways. Yeah, definitely just spend five minutes, look up where the nice paved toll roads are. Mm -hmm. You'll be very glad you did. <laughs> Disclaimer number three is the price. For eight days, it cost us $515 to rent the Chevy Spark. 
uh, not including gas. We did have to pay an extra hundred, I think, because we actually lost the hubcap when we were on that adventure, just going through so many bumps, it just flew off and we didn't realize until we got there. But And the last disclaimer for this isn't really a disclaimer, it's more of a tip. If you rent a car and you are driving, uh, a lot of the people say that Waze is better than Google Maps. It's a different sort of direction giving app. And maybe if we were on Waze instead of Google Maps, we wouldn't have gotten in that pickle. Um, at least to try it out while you're there. Next up are our recommendations for the best places to go in the Dominican Republic. The three major cities in the Dominican Republic are Punta Cana, which has all the all-inclusive resorts, Santiago, which is the university town there in the Dominican Republic, and then the last one is Santo Domingo, which is the cultural hub and the oldest colonial city in the Americas. But our favorite places were actually Valle de las Aguilas first. It's like out of another planet. It is so nice. It's the best beach. It's often rated the best beach in the Dominican Republic. We visited a few on that list. That was easily, easily the top one. Butterflies everywhere, perfect white sand, turquoise waters, nobody there, like no development. It was, and there was no sargasm, which is like that nasty seaweed that we saw at Playa Rincon. It was just like, it's like, if you can get out there, go. Yeah, it is a bit of a drive to get mm -hmm. out there. You probably would want to rent a car to get out there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's in the middle of nowhere, but mm -hmm. it is definitely our top favorite place in For the Dominican sure. Republic. For sure. Also, we really enjoyed Las Galeras. They had this amazing, beautiful cliffside restaurant there called El Cabito. El Cabito. Hidden gem. Really. Yeah, we, we saw it on a YouTube video, just like looking up things to do, and they're so glad we went. It was it was nuts. The food was good too. A bit expensive, but worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another one that we didn't really expect at all, we didn't even know it existed, was Constanza. Yeah. Um, it has beautiful waterfalls. It's amazing mountains. Yeah, it's literally the highest city and the coldest city in the Caribbean. I think I've said that fact a bunch, but I still think it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. um, and they, because of that, they can grow a ton of produce that they can't grow like anywhere on the island. Getting some strawberries on the side of the street because they grow here in Constanza. And our guide was telling us about all sorts, like they grow potatoes, onions, garlic, and they actually ship them to the United States sometimes, so. For accommodation around the country, we mostly used Airbnb besides the one night that we got to Constanza super late in our Chevy Spark, so we booked a hotel, but we booked, Airbnb's fine in the country, like very nice hosts, good accommodations, um, a lot of easy directions to follow, definitely recommend. Yeah, and it's probably cheaper than hotels mm -hmm. yeah. in the long run. Next tip is water. Don't drink the tap water because of all the bacteria in it, you could get sick. Mm -hmm. Good thing though is that Airbnbs actually often give you like huge garrafones, I think they call them. Botellones. Botellones, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Botellones, which are like these huge jugs of water and you can just like drink from there. So it's provided, filtered water. Um, if not that, we would just buy like sadly plastic water bottles around the country, but it is filtered and it's sealed, so. Next tip is we recommend trying all the local mm -hmm. food. We love Dominican food. <laughs> Dominican food slaps. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Particularly, we would recommend trying tostones mm -hmm. or fried plantains. Yeah. They're basically like french fries, but a little bit sweeter because yeah. they're plantains. And they literally like mash them up and then fry them. And you can ha like dip them with ketchup or mayo. And it literally just takes like a little bit of banana french fry. And then the next one is yuca, which is basically a potato-like vegetable that's a little bit stringier than a potato, and it's really good. It's kind of weird because it's like kind of like a potato, but then also super starchy. I like it a lot. Our next tip is kind of like a self-plug. We have ventured around most of the country, and if you want to see those adventures and see what they might be like, you can just like check out this series. We'll, again, put it up here. Thank you to the Dominican Republic and all its wonderful people for hosting us. Mm -hmm. uh, we really enjoyed our time there and hope you will as well if you're a viewer who is thinking about going. And with that, we're gonna end the video. If you have any other questions with a trip coming up to the Dominican Republic, just drop it in the comments. We'll be sure to reply as soon as we can. And thanks for watching this whole thing. Peace out, guys. Subscribe. Subscribe.